breathing in, there is awareness of breathing in. Breathing out, there is awareness of breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. In, out. Insufferable feelings. Depression. Part three. From all sources. One's degree and longevity of experiencing even low-grade depression may be directly proportional to the amount and degree of unresolved childhood and adolescent pain and suffering in the form of criticism, ridicule, and rejection, as well as neglect, abuse, and trauma that we experienced from all sources, especially parental giving credit where it is due. Blaming oneself often becomes a hallmark feature of depression, believing as if something is inherently wrong or irreparably defective with us that essentially makes us depressed. When perhaps placing blame squarely upon one or both parents appears far more fitting for was it not their deficiencies and inadequacies in effectively raising a well-nurtured, well-loved, and ultimately well-adjusted child and adolescent that has invariably led to our lot in life? From the frying pan into the fire. One. For those of us who seem to suffer from anxiety as well as depression, or we otherwise become easily stressed by even the slightest life challenges, perhaps our time in the womb had been adversely impacted by our mother experiencing prolonged periods of stress herself essentially bathing us in stress hormones, basically predisposing us to a lower stress and, thus, suffering constitution. Dysfunctional Depression Should both parents in a dysfunctional family relationship suffer from depression, their children run a very high chance of also developing depression and ultimately forming a predominantly negative inward as well as outward life outlook or disposition, dimming or otherwise extinguishing a child's inherent excitement joy, and zest for life. 